Welcome to part two, and let's start immediately by building a wireframe. Firstly, we, requ we require a new sheet. The cell outlines you see here make excellent construction guides for our wireframes. To begin with, we need to set the grid to a square layout. Select the entire grid by clicking in the square in the top left hand corner. In the toolbar, select Format and then Column and Width from the dialog box and set the numbers to 0.5 and click OK. This square grid will help us in the construction of our wireframe. We can turn the grid on and off by going to Layout and in the View section you will see a checkbox labelled Grid Lines. Checking this on and off will make the grid line visible and invisible. Remember that when you print your layout, the grid lines will not be printed. Though, if you display the layout via a projector, it will reduce the confusion if you turn off the grid. Let's leave the grid on while we construct our wireframe. Next, we need to place an object on the sheet. We go to the Show or Hide Media Browser button, and this opens a toolbox that gives us access to the Shapes library. There are just a few shapes we're going to be using. The rectangle with sharp corners, the rectangle with radius corners, and the circle. Now, place these shapes onto the sheet. You will notice that the toolbar above has changed to give you access to the tools you will need to manipulate these objects. Now we have a background there are some things we need to change. We shall set the background to white and the border to black. We do this by selecting the appropriate tool from the shape style area from the main toolbar here. If you think that the black line is too wide for your needs, we can reduce its width via the line menu and selecting weights. We'll change this to a quarter point weight. We will change the other objects at the same time. We're able to size the rectangle by these controls that are available through Format and Size. Let's change this to 9.5 and 6.5. We can infer a group box and we can adjust the radius of the corners via this yellow diamond here. By duplicating the group box, we can create a button by changing the height to 0.7 and the width to 5.4. Again, duplicating the button, we will create a small icon button by changing the width to 0.7.
By duplicating the icon button and changing its size to 0.9 by 0.9, we can create a placeholder for the company logo. For more about logos and icon libraries, please visit part 5. By resizing the circle to 0.5 by 0.5, we can create a little radio button. Doing a similar thing with the square and make that 0.5 by 0.5, we now have a checkbox. To create a placeholder for body text, I'll duplicate the button shape and type into it. If I turn off the border and the background, I have the master item for my body text. It too can join the little component collection of our parts library at the side of the page. We can duplicate these items as necessary to save creating from new every time. Let us start to duplicate some of these items to create our first screen. For completeness, we should give the screen a name or a number. Remember, you can always change the font details. Although we can add text to all the components, we could link the text to wording files on another spreadsheet. The advantages for doing so are, in the, are the subject of a further video. Now, let us assemble our first wireframe diagram. We have created the title Now move the square that represents the company icon next to it. I shall duplicate and reposition the group box. We can either bring forward the group box or send the background to the back using the reorder tool. This is in the arrange section of the format toolbar. Duplicating the body text, I will give this screen a title. And I will call this, Welcome to Mobile Banking. You may have already realised we can fine adjust the position of objects by using the up, down and left, right arrows on the keyboard. I will create the first button and give this the caption Mobile Banking and set this to the correct font and place it in the group box. To fine tune the position of the text, there are a number of tools in the toolbox to do this. Under Format and Alignment, we can adjust the text up, down, left, right and centre.
If I try to select the whole wireframe, as you can in Visio or OmniGraffle, you will only succeed in selecting the spreadsheet cells. What you have to do is to select the items individually while holding down the Shift key, and from the Format Arrange settings, select Group. You can now move the complete wireframe as one unit. In the next section, I will show you how to link the wireframes together to form a screen flow diagram.